Good morning students. Welcome back. Let us begin with the second term syllabus. So today you will learn lesson 10 respiration in organisms. Before starting the lesson let me remind you that in chapter 2 you learn that all organisms are made of small microscopic units called cells. Each cell of an organism perform functions like nutrition, transport, excretion and reproduction. For these purposes it needs energy. So we eat food to get energy. The food that we eat is digested by our body which after absorption is transported to each cell of the body. The energy present in the food gets released when the organisms respire or breathe. Hence, our food is the stored energy which is released during respiration. Breathing is the process during which we breathe in oxygen rich air and we breathe out air rich in carbon dioxide. The air rich in oxygen is transported to all parts of the body and ultimately to each cell. This oxygen is utilized by the cell for respiration. So, respiration is essential for survival of living organisms. It releases energy from the food. The oxygen we inhale is used to break down glucose into carbon dioxide and water. Energy is released in this process. So the process of breakdown of food in the cell with the release of energy is called cellular respiration. Cellular respiration takes place in the cell of all organisms. Now I'll tell you about the types of respiration. On the basis of the presence or absence of oxygen, respiration is classified into two types. Aerobic respiration. When the breakdown of glucose occurs with the use of oxygen, it is called aerobic respiration. During aerobic respiration, glucose is completely breaking, broken down into carbon dioxide and water and energy is released. Aerobic respiration occurs in all organisms. It can be shown by the following equation, glucose, food, with the use of oxygen, carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. Anaerobic respiration. When the breakdown of glucose takes place without using oxygen, it is called anaerobic respiration. The glucose is not completely broken down into carbon dioxide and water and very little energy is released during this process. It is broken down into lactic acid or alcohol, carbon dioxide and energy. Yeast, bacteria, human muscle cells etc. respire anaerobically. In each cell, anaerobic respiration leads to production of alcohol and carbon dioxide. Yeast are single-celled organisms and get the energy they need through anaerobic respiration which is also called fermentation. This process is used in baking and making wine and beer. So the equation you can see glucose that is food without the use of oxygen gives alcohol plus carbon dioxide plus energy. Anaerobic respiration also takes place inside the muscle cells of our body. This happens when we do something strenuous like vigorous exercise, walking for many hours, cycling, fast running, etc. As a result, the demand of energy is high, but the supply of oxygen to produce the energy is limited. So the cells produce energy by anaerobic respiration. The lactic acid is produced during anaerobic respiration and the accumulation of lactic acid in the muscles causes muscle cramp thus pain in the body. So you can see the writing over there during heavy exercise 
our muscles respire anaerobically to provide energy to muscle cells and these leads to the accumulation of lactic acid that causes muscle cramp thus pain in body so here you can see the equation glucose which is also the food without the use of oxygen gives lactic acid plus energy the only way to remove this acid is to rest for a while breathe in deeply to get extra oxygen or take a hot water bath or a massage it helps to convert lactic acid into carbon dioxide and water and thus pain slowly subsides i hope you all have understood this much that's all for today thank you